Hey guys, Joel here from Devon Dice again, and today, once more, I am bringing you another unboxing. Today I'm unboxing, fresh from Kickstarter delivery, power ships from these people and that designer. I'm not even going to attempt to say their names. So without further ado, let's break the seal and take it out of its wrapping. Okay guys, let's take a look at this. So we've got power ships, a uh, crowdfunding edition. I think this means uh, get a few extra bits in it. Not quite sure what extra, but it's not bad. It's not a fit box, but it feels like there's a lot in there. There's the back. There's the back of it. Uh, so a good display of what's in the game, several different languages plastic uh, ships come in it and three sided dice to use and if you look in here it says it's 30 minutes to play two to seven players that is an added bonus that's not often you come across a game that will have seven players this one to one of them and 10 years to 99 so if you're 100 years old you can't play it unfortunately so let's crack the wrapping and i had a knife somewhere So what I should say really is what this game is. So here's the spill in English and it will focus. So here's the spill in English. In this game, you are a power ship pilot hurtling through space. Your, your challenge is to race a course spanning the solar system. Navigate your power ship as you career towards victory at the finished planet. So basically it's a race game. You take these three sided dice and each turn you can either take one dice, roll it, and then add it all together with the other previous dice and move that number of spaces. On your turn you can rotate and then uh, move again, either decreasing your speed or re-rolling dice. Uh, pretty simple. The terrain will mess you up. So you have to be careful where you're going and uh, not crash into stuff or crash into the sun or things like that so yes the so rule book is on top it's quite thick actually but i think it contains several different languages so first one english american on the front so it's one two three four pages long that's it uh, good display of what's going on. Looks like the layout's pretty good. So we've got a couple of punch boards. So we got the these are all the different player boards. So we got seven colours. Some are very close, pink and red, looks very close. We have a couple of stars, we have some comets, and then we have this, uh, the finish line. So, and how easy does it pop out? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, nice, nice pop out. So what we got inside? Plastic insert. Look at those. Now the ships actually, they're not too bad in telling the colour between them. Yeah. Pink, red, a little bit distinguishable. Red and red, uh, red and, red and red, red and orange. Maybe, don't know. But we see, nice, nice, they're nice and chunky as well. A nice solid little ships. So you get one that might show it better. Show the detail. Not bad, are they? We have the uh, boy beacons. These are what you fly around. We have four of these. 
So another four there, so you actually fly around that. So you fly around that, tells you which way round to go. Just in case you didn't know. Ah, are they double sided? They are double sided, so da da da. Yeah, so you can uh, alternate the uh, directions. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, and I brought one on the floor as usual. Alright. Dice. Lots and lots of dice. These are pretty cool. Oh, they're nice. I like these. They sound nice, they feel nice, they look nice. It's not bad, is it? Eh? I'll have a, have a test roll in a minute. And then we got so many board pieces. A double sided, different things going on. There's a, a general setup to how it all goes. And even more, and the uh, sun, which you have to fly around to uh, to win the race. Lots of different things going on. Nice and clear, nice and simple. Nothing too drastic going on. So that looks pretty good. Happy with that. And by the looks of it, like the box is all laid out to carry individual things going in. So I reckon here, I reckon this is for this. Yeah. And then I reckon our player pieces will fit nicely in here. Am I right or am I right? I am right. Yep, yeah. nice, nice and f tight. Uh, dice could go back in there. Oh, wonder if that's for that. I'm not sure yet. Maybe no. Nah, they they sit through two protruders. Dice in there. Ships in there. Uh, what else we got here? I wonder if this is for this. Yeah, look at that. Nice and snug. That one on the end there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Don't know what these are for yet. Let's have a quick look. They are, oh, of course, damage markers. So they will go on your boards. So if you take damage, yeah, you take damage. You will take one. You will only be able to have so many dice, which means you only go so fast. So that's nice. It's all nicely fitting back in, which is lovely to see. Uh, I just got to figure out how this goes back in. Like so. And I think this goes back in like this. I knew this was um, a bit of a burden for him when he was uh, trying to create this box insert to hold everything once it uh, was all popped out. And I feel, ugh, he's done a superb job, I have to say. Maybe they go in there. I don't know. Maybe they go in there. Maybe. Maybe they just go in there. So I know it's not bagged. I mean, they could probably go in there if they wanted to. I know it's not bagged, but it holds everything. Bit of a shake test, and everything's even held thin. Even the uh, the damage markers are held in place. So that's not a bad job. This looks pretty neat and neat, neat and tidy. So, 
So that's the unboxing of power ships um, from Crom Van Morsel and Kawaii Games. I don't know. Or maybe I got that all completely wrong. Really sorry. So that was Power Ships. That was my unboxing of Power Ships. As I said, it's a Kickstarter copy. I don't know whether it's coming into retail. Um, I do believe he's made a limited number out of the money he made from Kickstarter in the project. Um, it looks great. The components look great. I got no complaints. Everything's uh, there, what they said to be there. Um, uh, the components are great quality. It was late by uh, probably a month or two, but hey, uh, there was some extra bonuses he added in. And then as I did say, he was struggling a bit to um, get the insert to work with all the components and make it fit nice and snug. So that did delay things a little bit. But hey, it's finally here. I really do look forward to playing this. I mean, it's a simple racing game. Even the kids should be able to play it. And because it goes to seven, that will suit most of the groups now I go to that have a lot of players in. That is Power Ships. Uh, the crowdfunding edition. And I've been Joel Wright. You can catch me on all Devon Dice Media, the podcast, the blogging site. And uh, this has been another unboxing. So see you later on. See you around. <laughs>